Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to Physics High. When we're dealing with the law of conservation of momentum problems, particularly in two dimensions, we can solve them to two ways. One is vectorial way and one is by the component way. And I'll be producing a video on each. Now in this particular video, I'm going to be dealing with the vectorial way. So in this particular problem, you can see I have a ball striking a stationary ball and they fly off in different angles. I have ball A, which is a lighter mass, and I have ball B, which is a heavier mass. And then we're asked, well, what is the velocity of A and the velocity of B after the collision? So how do we set this out? Now the key concept here is looking at this from a diagrammatic perspective. The total momentum before equals the total momentum afterwards. That means the vectors before add up to the vectors afterwards. So in other words, if I add this vector and then I add this vector, the sum total must equal that vector. So I'm going to draw that over here because that will form our discussion over here. So what we have here is my vector for A, which is I'm going to say my P of A is equal to the vector of this one, which is my P of A afterwards. And notice I just use a little letter just to make it different. And my vector of momentum B afterwards, again, a lower case to show that these are my after situations and this is my initial situation. And then lastly, what we need to do is to say, well, what variables do I know? Now, I do know the mass and I do know the velocity initially. And so my momentum of my situation before the collision can be calculated out. And that is simply equal to the mass in this case of 0.025 multiplied by my velocity, which is 5.5, and that gives me a grand total of 0.1375 Newton seconds. I don't know A, I don't know B at this stage in terms of their momenta, but I do know the angles. So the angles here is 65 degrees, and if you work out backwards, this angle over here is my 37 degrees. We are now in a position to solve it. So if you see now, I have this value here and I have two angles here and I simply need to know PA and PB. Now this just requires a concept of something called the sine rule, which says that the ratio of a side with the sine of the angle on the opposite side is equal all in the other ratios. How do we set this out? Well, Knowing that this is 65 and this is 37, we need to know what that angle is over here. And that angle here ends up being 78. And now let's set it out and I'm going to put dimensions, the momentum on the top of that ratio. So I have PA over sine 78 is equal to PB over sine 65, and that is equal to P little a over sine 37. But hold on, we know PA, that is equal to 0.1375 over the sine of 78. Now can you see we can now actually work out each individual one. In other words, the momentum of B is equal to this multiplied by the sine of 65. The momentum of lowercase a is equal to this multiplied by the sine of 37. It's just simply a rearrangement, a simple mathematical or algebraic type of solution. So if you do that calculation, you can work out PB. PB equals 0 0.1274 Newton seconds. But hold on, that's the momentum of B after the collision. What's the velocity? Well, we already know the mass of B. So because momentum is equal to mass times velocity, we can work out the velocity of B, and that simply is going to be equal to 2.55 meters per second. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, then you can do exactly the same procedure for working out the momentum of A, and therefore the velocity of A after the collision. So the velocity of A after the collision ends up being 3.4 meters per second. And there you have it. That's how you solve a conservation of momentum problems using vectors. Now, I will stress that if you have more than three vectors in the final situation, then, then that's going to be more problematic and that requires a component method. Well, you're gonna to have to watch my video on solving conservation of momentum using component method. My name is Paul. 
from Physics Hive. Take care. Bye for now.